It's 6 18 in the morning. I can't tell you the last time I woke up this early to go to the gym. Yeah, I'm not really a morning person. I typically like to just stay up late and do everything else late at night. I see why people like it. I'm starting to grow to like it. It feels like you're getting up and getting after it, and sometimes that's the feeling that we miss. Start of filming this video this morning, I honestly had had no plan for the video, and I I still don't. So I guess we'll see where it ends up. But I wanted to make a point to just film, take action, and put something together. Because the amount of videos that I have that I've filmed and that never got edited, or that I filmed and edited, finished and just never posted. And really all because it just wasn't up to my liking. You know, as many of us creators hold ourselves to the standard of work, to the standard of quality, I watched the videos and it just wasn't up to my liking. It, I didn't feel that it was a representation, a good representation of my skills and what I'm capable of doing. And oftentimes we call that perfection when it's really just our insecurity and the fear of being judged by other people. I think it's really important to have self-awareness about what you're capable of doing, what you're capable of creating. You know, I, I know what I can create. I know the quality of work I bring to the table. And I had to be okay with not every one of my work, everything that I post to be, you know, the next best thing that I create. Because if that if if I keep that up, then you know, all of these things that I want to do, you know, educate through YouTube videos and help other people become better creators. I just won't be able to do that because I have this, this standard that's just keeping me from doing that. And a lot of times I beat myself up for not producing enough content as I'd like to. And I feel this, this guilt and resistance. But then I also felt that while creating content, while filming it or while editing it, because it just wasn't the highest quality work that I've ever made. And once I gave myself permission to, you know, create work and just put it out there and it not have to be the greatest thing that I've ever made yet, I have peace and enjoyment while I create this right now. And it's not something that happens overnight. It's uh, it's a process and it's almost like you have to talk yourself through uh, the, this, this process as if you're talking a friend through something that they're using to, I guess, hold themselves back. And another thing I need to do is just uh, start planning content, which I did last night, just wrote some things out, but this one, this one's not planned. I wanna show you guys a really cool, cool thing. That's Theo, and those are the blinds that he chewed up as a puppy. And I've never replaced them because he always sits right there and looks out the window. And I just never want to take it away from him because he loves it. But anyways, I just sat down to do some client work, a little bit of editing. All right, back to work. Oh, the darkness is no friend, no friend of mine. I'm waiting on the spring to move, undo all that wind. Just got a bunch of editing done, and speaking of not having a plan for this video, I actually sat down and planned out uh, some uh, pieces of content that I want to make and start posting consistently, and, um, and one of them was automotive content, so car content, and what better car to start with than my own. So we're just gonna go and find a cool spot to park the car and film some cool videos. Ready for my heart to feel And surrender my soul Drop my shield Out. Oh man, 
man, I'm out of breath. Everyone has me convinced. All right, we're all packed up. Uh, I think got some really good shots. But uh, we won't know how good the shots are until we go see them and put them together. So uh, let's go home and edit. So many people are uh, leaving their classes and stuff now and people were, dri people were driving by and just stopping and checking out what the, what the heck I was up to. And the whole time, Mr. Theo, where is he? Mr. Theo was sitting in the back. I had the windows down, so he had some air. Don't worry, guys. Don't worry. And it's 58 degrees, so he's good. Let's go edit this thing.